Hello everyone. In this video, we will solve the bending stresses problem in which we have a beam and the, 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 the cross section of the beam is T section. So in the previous video, we have explained what are bending stresses. Uh, we, have, we, we have derived the formula of bending stresses and we have solved a problem where there was a uniform uh, cross section. It was symmetrical from the neutral axis. That we have solved in the previous video. You can also see the link of the video in the description. In this video, what we have, we have a cantilever beam. Look here, this cantilever beam, uh, it is having a tip load, 14 kN load is acting on the beam and the length of the beam is 3.5 meter. We have also uh, found the bending moment diagram. We have drawn it here, you see, and the maximum bending moment on this beam is 49 kN meter. The cross section of the beam is given and the cross section of the beam is a T section. We see that neutral axis is this one here. This is the neutral axis and above the neutral axis, the distance from the extreme fiber, from the top extreme fiber to the neutral axis is 100 millimeter and the distance from the bottom extreme fiber to the neutral axis is 200 millimeter. Now we need to find the bending stresses. So in this case, we will find two bending stresses. Why two bending stresses? Look here, if we have this cantilever beam and if it bends, so what will happen to the beam? The beam will bend in this way. You see, it will bend like this. Let's say it bend like this because of this force, right? This is the new position of the beam. Now this portion, the top portion of the beam, if you have a stick or beam, you bend it like this, what do you think? The top layer of the beam will be in tension or in compression? In tension. So we will have bending stresses in tension here at the top extreme fiber, here at this extreme fiber. So we will find bending stresses in tension. We will also find bending stresses in compression at the bottom extreme fiber. So here, this is the bottom extreme fiber. This is the cross section you just put here. So we have this cross section is T, right? So this cross section is T. So the bottom extreme fiber will have bending stresses in compression. So we need to find in tension and we need to find in compression. So we know that bending stresses are equal to what? If B is equal to MY over I. But this time this bending stress will be bending stresses and tension. We want to find first the tension one. Again, the moment of inertia is given in the problem. Here it is given. And if you want to know how to calculate moment of inertia of a T section, we have calculated in the moment of inertia video. Just watch that video. So we have the moment of inertia. We have the bending moment, maximum bending moment. Keep this thing in mind. Always we are using maximum bending moment in the bending stresses calculation. And we know the Y, which is for tension 100 millimeter and for compression it is 200 millimeter. So we will just replace the video, the, 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 sorry, replace the, the numbers here. So bending moment is 49 kilonewton meter, but all others are in millimeter. If you see, so we need to convert 49 uh, kilonewton meter, we need to convert it into newton millimeter. So if I want to convert 49 kilonewton meter, so how it will be? Look, 49, 49 kilonewton meter, it will be 49. If I want to remove this kilo, I will put 10 raised to the power 3 newton. And now if I want to uh, remove the meter and want to put millimeter, I will put another 10 raised to the power 3. Right? That will be millimeter. So I can write this 49 into 10 raised to the power 6 newton millimeter. So the bending moment I will put which is 49 into 10 raised to the power 6 newton millimeter times y which is the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber which is 100 millimeter. So I will put 100 here millimeter and divide by the moment of inertia which is given here which is 196 into 10 raised to the power 6 millimeter 4. So now I have to put all these values in calculator and look, we have one millimeter here, another millimeter here, so two will be cancelled and we will have millimeter square here. So if you put all these in calculator, you will get 
25, right? So if B in tension is 25 Newton per millimeter square, which is also equal to mega Pascal. So it is 25 mega Pascal. Bending stresses and tension. Now what will be bending stresses in compression? We will use the same formula. Look here. Bending stresses if B in compression, we will use the same formula MY over I. But this Y will be the compression Y. This Y was in tension. Now the compression Y is 200. Because the bottom side, the bottom layers are experiencing bending stresses in compression. So we will use instead of 100, we will use 200 and that's it. So you put the value, we have 49 into 10 raised to the power 6 times 200, all are in millimeter divided by 196 into 10 raised to the power 6. This is millimeter 4. So if you can put this in the calculator, so bending stresses in compression will be equal to 50 mega Pascal. Now we have two bending stresses. This one is in compression and this one is in tension. So again, if you have this cantilever beam, you have this cantilever beam, you apply force on it, it bends. So the top layer is in tension. The bottom layer is in compression. So bending stresses and tension, we calculate uh, on the same formula, we just use the distance from neutral axis to the extreme fiber at the top, which was 100 in this case. And here, the, the, the bottom layer will be in compression. So we take the distance from the neutral axis to the extreme fiber in the bottom of the beam, which will be an extreme compression. So we, we got the bending stresses and tension 25 mega Pascal, bending stresses and compression uh, 50 mega Pascal. So this is how we calculate the bending stresses and in, with this formula you can play, you, the problem can come anytime. You need to find let's say the moment of inertia, the y, if others are given, the bending moment, maybe the bending stress is given, but the formula is same Fb is equal to my over i. So that's it from the bending stresses and almost we covered this section. In next section of this course, we will uh, record videos for the torsion. So that's it from today. See you in the next video.